Mr. President, Lord Griffiths, uh, distinguished uh, ministers from other countries, participants from Switzerland and abroad, it's a deep honor to participate in this critically important symposium. I, like you, thank the organizers for bringing us together to discuss what is, without question, the moral issue of the day. We call this issue the clash of generations. But uh, I'm going to be honest for, with you. These are polite words for what constitutes, not necessarily in Switzerland, but across the globe, generally speaking, nothing less than a war on our children. The war on, the war on our children is not being fought in the open with guns and with cannons and with planes. Instead, the war on our children is being fought with environmental pollutants that poison the air that they breathe. It's being fought with hydrocarbon emissions that are overheating the planet and disastrously and permanently changing the planet's climate. It's being fought by permitting nuclear accidents that leave areas the size of Switzerland permanently uninhabitable. It's being fought by accumulating 270,000 tons of apparently non-disposable nuclear waste. It's being fought by permitting maniacal governments to make their own nuclear bombs for their own use or for that of terrorists. It's being fought by letting global population explode to the tune of two more Chinas over the next 40 years. It's being fought by running, again, globally speaking, massive government deficits. It's being fought by grossly underfunding old age pensions and leaving the bills for our children. It's being fought by grossly underfunding old age health care systems and leaving the bills for our children. It's being fought with shameful, shameful fiscal accounting, cash flow accounting that leaves most of the bills facing our children off the books and permits countries to run massive intergenerational Ponzi schemes. It's being fought by permitting ever greater consumption of the elderly at the cost of ever smaller rates of national saving and domestic investment. It's being fought by undereducating and undertraining our children. It's being fought by underinvesting in infrastructure. It's being fought by letting 40, 400 million children, 400 million children, 400 million children live in extreme poverty on less than a dollar and a quarter per day. It's being fought every year when we build smarter and smarter machines that eliminate more and more jobs for our kids. It's being fought by wasting $1.6 trillion per year globally on defense spending, on military spending, which is 4,000 times the amount needed to wipe out extreme child poverty. It's being fought every year when we send our young men and women, all of whom are still but children, to fight and die in wars that true grown-ups would never wage. This war on our children is being fought here and there and everywhere. It's being fought the hardest in my own country, the country that supposedly, supposedly cherishes a dream, the American dream, that our children will have a better and safer life. The American dream in the United States is becoming a nightmare. It's becoming a nightmare in many other countries around the world. No child, indeed in, every, in some ways, for every child around the world, no child on earth 
will be spared by nuclear winter when the bombs go off. No child on Earth will be spared when the climate crosses its tipping point, when drought, fires, floods, famine, disease, colossal storms, rising sea levels, intolerable cold, excruciating heat, and the extinction of one quarter of the world's species become our unthinkable reality. And no child on Earth will, will escape the fiscal time bomb and economic fallout from decades of older generations playing take-as-you-go with the world's material wealth. We are at a crossroads. We can continue gambling with nuclear weapons, gambling with the climate, gambling with the, with global secu with the global economy, and gambling with our children's futures. Or we can start doing what this conference has called us together to do, face reality and put a name on that reality. We are here today not simply to acknowledge the clash of generations. We are here to confess and address at long last in clear un and in unmistakable terms the terrible sins we are committing to those we supposedly hold most dear, our children. And the first step in that confession is to admit the awful but very plain truth. We are at war with our beloved children, and we are winning. Thank you.